Hello, my name is Vadim Kamkalov. Uh, I am from Berlin. I am the owner of the Protocol Berlin Bar. Uh, we run the bar since two years. Uh, we have 24 taps and a quite large uh, bottle list of the international beers. We focus mainly on American, Russian, German New Wave, German Classic beers. So like four main directions we work on. Uh, so we are like open since two years now. Uh, we also have a strong partnership uh, with the Russian Zagavar Brewery from Moscow. So they are like good friends and partners. So we also like established a good portion of the Russian craft beer in Berlin and Germany. And we are like spread the word about what has happened in Russia and that inspired me personally a lot for opening the bar. And I'm trying to like apply this inspiration for the activities in Berlin. Uh, what do you consider the, uh, is Berlin ready for this kind of craft scene? We had the owner of Stone, yeah. of course, just giving up on the whole thing and saying Germans are not ready for craft. What yeah, he is ready to tour with Metallica. Yeah, like Germany is a bit tricky. Like uh, in general, like Berlin is slightly easy. Well, it's slightly. Berlin is actually pretty ready. So in Berlin, we have right now a well-established craft beer scene. Uh, we even having like pretty much a lot of international craft beer tourism in the city. And uh, so from that perspective, that Berlin makes it relatively. Well, if you do a good product and a good project, it makes it relatively possible and feasible to do it in Berlin. For the rest of Germany, it's a bit slower, but it's also developing. Like four years ago, there was indeed like very few things happening in the craft beer scene. Like right now, the change is uh, tremendous in Berlin. What do you see the kind of taste evolvings? Are there craft brewers springing up in Berlin that are seeing this change happen? Certainly, and it's not just in Berlin, but actually the, we have a good brewers not only in Berlin, but like in, in Berlin we have like Fürst Wiacek. Now they are, they are obviously like they are leading brewery right now, with regarding the, especially regarding like the IPA and the hoppy beers. Uh, and, but we have also like very good brewers outside of Berlin. So we have like the uh, Freigeist Bierkultur, we have the Jan Kemker, we have the Flüge in Frankfurt Main, and all of these guys are located like outside in Berlin, like in the smaller towns or like, or like more remote places, and they brew fantastic sour beers. So like again, like four or five years ago, that would have been impossible in Germany. So right now, it's actually like the daily uh, reality. And we also help to spread the world. And we're doing like events like this, like we're doing with Le Barbateur now, when we bring all the like German beers from all over the country together and like bring it to the uh, to our like friend, uh, bar of our friends in the other city. And then we are like represent like the German culture in a broad perspective. What's your background and how did you get into craft <laughs> beer or beer in general? Uh, like the originally my very first meeting with the craft beer when I was in California when I was like the exchange student uh, then I studied one year in Belgium actually in Leuven in the University of Leuven so all of these things like they helped me a lot to discover like their beauty and their uh, how different the beer can the, the beer can be as a product and I was working in an IT company and in parallel the dudes which are doing like the Zagavar right now, they're my close friends from way be from before and I was strongly inspired by what they've been doing and by what has been happening in Russia regarding the craft beer so I could see like how in a country with pretty much no beer culture the craft beer revolution have started and was super successful and I've noticed like okay the big players like the Stone, Mikkeler, Brewdog they are coming to Berlin so maybe it would be like right point in time like to uh, go for their like, own endeavor and like do something uh, in this direction and be one of the first ones uh, before like the masses will be coming and that's pretty much what we did so just right after the uh, the bigger companies we've been one of the first bars in berlin to open and uh, so i quit totally my like uh, it financial job and i always wanted to be a private entrepreneur and with uh, what we do right now i like feel very full it's a way more fulfilling and a happy life and it's uh, what i really enjoy doing and that's a kind of big philosophy as well. So we're a super international team. We have like two Americans, one French, like me, Russian, and uh, one German. So, <laughs> and uh, everyone is coming like from the scene. Everyone is uh, very passionate about what we do. And I think it's like represents a lot. Like each of, it has like this love to their 
crafted product in its blood so we're all very passionate and we do believe in what we do and i think this is a big share of our like current success and like i think like our customers appreciate that a lot like we don't just sell beers we really sell them with a lot of like energy and passion behind it